welcome back to The Bible Explained. Most of us have seen popular films and read books of creatures who seem to be half man and half animal, and most would presume that they are creatures of ancient mythologies or fiction. But what's interesting is that upon research, we find many civilizations depicting these creatures such as minotaurs and centaurs as actual real creatures that once walked the earth. Now you won't find a description of a minotaur or centaur in the Bible, but you will find that the prophet Isaiah gives us a description of a satyr in the book of Isaiah. And he does this by clearly stating the difference between an animal goat that we are all familiar with and a goat that is entirely different, not prescribed by God. In Isaiah chapter 11, verse six, it reads, the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The word goat here is the Hebrew word gedai, meaning young male. Jumping down to chapter 34, we read about Isaiah discussing the judgment that is to come upon the nations for their iniquity against themselves and against God. And when we get to verse 14, it reads, The wild beast of the desert shall also meet with the jackals, and the wild goat shall bleat to its companion. The word goat in this context is the Hebrew word sayir, or saber, meaning fawn, devil-like, rough, hairy kid, or satyr. Isaiah is describing a specific region in this chapter of abnormal creatures that still remain after the flood. Now it's not that they have survived the flood, but they have returned by way of practices that were done prior to the flood. As mentioned in the previous video titled, The Difference Between Angels and Demons, we see that the prescribed essence of demonic entities are the product of the 200 watcher class angels, procreating with women in the days of Jared, the grandfather of Noah, and the outcome were giants whose height were as cedar trees. The giants and all of the sin that came with their existence were the main cause for the flood, causing the giants to lose their physicality, but their spirit still remained on the earth. The point of mentioning this is that God has a prescribed spirit or nefesh for all of his creation, and he calls it according to its kind. For example, dogs can only reproduce to populate other kinds of dogs, and the same for elephants or lions. And since giants were never his creation, they were a different nefesh, not prescribed by him, but by abominable deeds. The watchers who sinned not only procreated with women, but taught men the mixing of their seed with other kinds of nefesh, such as animals. And so we see the very same practices showing up years later after the flood, causing a creature like a satyr to be an open vessel for a disembodied spirit to reside. We see many forms of scientific research of the creation of animal and human hybrids in laboratories around the world, one of them being the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, also known as DARPA. But as Luke states in Luke chapter 17, verse 26, and as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man. 